Welcome viewers, Syndrome here with Breaking the Stream Gaming. Today I'll be continuing with Birthright, the Gorgon's Alliance. Now, last episode I made a mistake again and exited before the game autosave, so I lost uh, turn 8, I believe, around. Um, so I went ahead and replayed that off of video, and I got back to pretty much the same state. Um, slightly worse position, but not significantly so. So anyway, though, I'm going to be picking it up from here. As you can see, we now have five territories which are disputed and which we can uh, institute uh, investitures towards to get them under our control. Um, I'm going to go ahead and collect my taxes. Looks like we're estimated to get 18. In reality, though, we picked up 22. That's not bad. I'm going to spend some of my regency to get us a little bit extra gold. It's your turn. Okay, now the situation as it stands is this. The Dozone Regent is bugged out, as we've come to expect, uh, so we're going to have to assassinate her. Um, I believe, though, that the castles are decreasing in size. This one has actually increased, so I'm going to have to work on that. Um, now, unfortunately, we weren't able to get units into each of their territories, so we are going to have to do another declaration of war in order to get our people in there. You cannot cross that border. Um, let's see. So, for our first, first action, why don't we just go ahead and do that. Uh, not Cairo. Uh, Dozo. There we go. That's, um, that's a little bit more than I was expecting, but uh, it shouldn't be too much of an your issue. Orders? Right. Your command? By your command. Archers ready. Your orders? Right. Imminent. Archers ready. Your command? Archers ready. Yes. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Your orders. Archers ready. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Yes. Your orders. Archers ready. Your command. Consider it done. Yes. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Yes. Archers ready. Archers ready. Your orders. Your order. Consider it done. Your command. Archers ready. Victory your draws command. Near your, your command. Your orders. Your command. Your orders. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Your command. Consider it done. Your command. Yeah. As I thought, nothing we couldn't handle. Although, if I just saw that correctly, they retreated their troops into our territory. So I will have to deal with those. Now, this is a terrible matchup. Um, skeletons are basically immune to arrows. Um, we'll be able to take them out eventually, but it's it's going to be a little bit of a slog here. Your command. By your command. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Your orders. Archers yes. ready. Luckily, they're apparently not yes. taking this fight seriously. By your command. And our troops are considerably Archers faster ready. than theirs, so they'll never be able to catch up with us. Archers ready. Yes. Archers your ready. Orders. Yes. Your orders. Your command. By your command. Almost there. Another one or two good shots, and this fight will be Archers over. Ready. Your orders. Archers ready. Yes. Archers ready. Your command. Archers ready. Your command. There we go. Succeeded. 
It's your turn. Yes, your bidding. Your bidding, your highness. I could have sworn that I saw their troops retreat into. Ah, there it is. Okay, I'll just go ahead and. No combat up there. I'll send one troop in. I'll go ahead and muster. And let's do two cavalry. Oh, I wonder if we can actually move those skeletons in. It's pretty useful. Impassable. You cannot cross that border. Yeah, these skeletons are kind of stuck over here in the crushing hills as a result of uh, them retreating back there. Um, hmm. Okay, well, my first goal here is I definitely need to get a unit up into Darylin there. So, why don't I just do this? Set those archers up there. Let's see. With those troops, I think that one cavalry should be more than sufficient. Of course, I don't have any cavalry to spare. Oh! The regent is by himself. Why is that? Oh, I sent the cavalry out. Hmm. Now, this here is a very dangerous situation. Uh, any assassination attempt could now just automatically take out our leader. Ordinarily, an assassination attempt um, on our stack will pick a random unit. So, I am definitely going to get him reinforcements. Okay, that makes me feel the slightest bit better. Uh, let's see here. So we have our unit up there. That should be fine. Again, I'm going to recruit one more cavalry. Now that I have two. That should be enough as long as it doesn't get stuck there, which it didn't. Excellent. Hey, you know what? I think one cavalry is enough, so let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, that only leaves Nolian left. Four units. Oh, I, I think I can take them. We're gonna risk it. Now I just need to get one more unit over there, and let's just send... Oh, this is a warding spell. Uh, it means that units can't enter or leave that sector. So that's actually kind of annoying. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll do a lieutenant action with the eyeless one. We'll have him create three more skeletons. You cannot cross that border. One of those will send to Bindraith so that it blocks the escape from the carrier units. The other two we will maneuver. Well, let's put them over here for now. We'll move this one over. And you know what? Actually, let's go ahead and give him a second skeleton just to make sure that we win that fight. Okay, now. Um, I should be good to start annexing their territory, so let's go ahead and do some investiture. Um, what are my options here? Crushing Hills is actually... Oh! <laughs> so, because Thurizor declared war on me and caused my force to retreat to this sector here, uh, we actually have a claim on that territory now, which is amusing because I have no interest in taking that just yet, so... I'm going to ignore that for now and focus on Dozo up here. So we want to take the biggest territory that we can. Uh, it looks like the ones that we can take are these ones up here in the northwestern part. So Riverside is a level 2 one, so that's, that's probably going to be our best bet. So why don't I just go ahead and do that. Of course I'll use my Regent Seat to modify chances of success. Waiting for an which they will counter, but I have more than they do, so nothing they'll be able to do in the end. Succeeded. 
they blew up my unit in Sonium. That's that's rude. Okay, no worries about that fight. This one I do have concerns yeah. about. Done. So one and three, but uh, I shouldn't have much difficulty dealing with them. Now, for the first few videos, I, I went back and took a look at things, and combat seemed just a little bit too easy. It turns out I was actually playing on easy battle mode, uh, so I, I've bumped that up to the hardest difficulty, so these combats will be a little bit more challenging, but ultimately, um, the Elven Cavalry is just so powerful that it, it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to go ahead and just retreat them back a little bit. Uh, I didn't like that they took a, a bad volley to begin the fight. And I'm actually just not going to let the Irregulars hit me. I'll just let them keep coming to me, and then I'll shoot them once or twice. Alright. That's annoying. Your command by your command. Okay, so because they blew up my your unit in Sonyo, uh, their forces now have a place to retreat to, which means I'm going to have to send a force there Archers to deal ready, with them. Yeah. Ready. Yeah. Shall... Skeletons? Ah, the Crushing Hills. I don't have any place to retreat to, so I'm going to have to fight this out. Um... Luckily, skeletons are really powerful, so I think I should probably be able to handle both of them. I will wait for them to move up to me, though, because goblins do have a ranged attack. So, no reason to walk into that. I don't know why that goblin walked away. I mean, he was able to shoot me from where he was at. Okay, yes, this, this fight will be <laughs> quite easy. With seven defense and five melee, um, there's not much the goblins, who have a two defense and two melee, can do against me. Okay, this shouldn't be particularly hard. Um, yes. Wizard has Disintegrate, so what do you do against that? The wizard awaits your, your order. The wizard awaits your order. Command. The wizard awaits your order. I think the skeleton will be fine against that cavalry. My lead. I'll do it soon. Meanwhile, the wizard, with uh, all those fireballs, ice storms, magic missiles, he's fine. I'll send in the skeleton to finish those guys off. Ah, the infantry's chasing me. Your command, wizard, your command, order. They're they're not going to let up. Huh. Too bad for them. Yeah, they're really, uh, they're really focusing on assassinating and blowing up my units. That's, uh, that's getting annoying. Okay. We've dealt with the forces from Karyop, though, so we should be fine there. I'll go ahead and send these skeletons in to deal with the unit in Sonyo. Let's see, anything else we need to do here? Units everywhere already taken our lieutenant action so now we can do one of two things we can either assassinate the dozo agent or we can 
continue bringing our new territory under control. So I'm just going to do that. I'll I'll take the Zondrig just so that we get that corner out of the way. Oh, they, uh, huh, they did their own Legion of the Dead in Zondrig, so, um, that's gonna be, it's gonna be somewhat trying. Did not succeed. Um, hmm. So that fight is gonna be three on one. My Elven Cavalry versus three Skeletons. That's, uh, that's gonna be a tough fight. I mean, let me rephrase that. I'll never get hit, but it's going to be a long fight. Just waiting for the goblins to actually make it to the battleground. Yeah, this is uh, no threat here. Man, these skeletons... Uh, I should have been playing with these in my previous playthroughs. These are these are great. And I didn't realize that they had no upkeep till just recently. <laughs> Watches Pikemen flee also. Just like the goblins did in that last battle. God, when when there aren't elves on the field, it just takes so long for people to get places. <sighs> and they walked right past me. Man, they are just trying to bore me to death. I don't get it. I don't understand why they're running away. There's their pikemen that... <laughs> like, I don't... I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I, I move the same speed as them, so I can't like really catch up to them. Okay, well, now they're in combat, finally. Never run into that scenario before, but I've never really had units other than um, <laughs> Elven Cavalry or Archers before. Oh, those bastards. Okay, so they actually went ahead and moved a troop into my territory. So they're going to have a claim on that next turn. So I'll have to keep some Regency in reserve just to make sure that uh, I can defend against their investiture. Well, that skeleton went down quick. I wonder if the investitures are broken. Okay, we now have huh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight territories that we can annex, and one of our territories is subject to enemy claims because they moved a stupid unit into it. Huh, so did Chaos, that's funny. So I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, but these other ones, I can just start claiming these. I now have a unit in every territory up there, so these castles should be swinging, except for Sunlin, because I still need to assassinate their regent. So I'll spend... Uh, I'll spend an action assassinating, and then I'll spend two claiming territory. But first, taxation. Yeah, that uh, that's well above expectation, so I'm going to keep my regency for other purposes. Man, they are, they are just being brutal. They wiped out everything I had down here. Can I claim Ripford this turn? Not yet. That's going to be next turn. So one more turn, and I'll finally be able to claim that territory. 
Oh man, I hit a ley line here and I didn't even notice it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to muster a couple additional troops. So I'll just do, let's say, three cavalry. Um, they each have one unit, so I'll go ahead and split them up. Send one to each territory, and then one to do the actual combat. Okay, let's see what else we can do here. A few units everywhere. I... Hmm. I could use my lieutenant action to attempt assassination there and possibly save me an action. Or I can use it to get three more skeletons, which are, you know, turning out to be just remarkably powerful. On the other side... Let's see what our chances are here. So, I think maybe a thief might have a better chance of... Hiring an assassin, possibly. Uh, what zone is that? That's something. Assassinate her. It's a one in five chance. I'm not going to bother with that. So what I will do instead is use that lieutenant action to summon us up some skeletons. You know, I didn't even notice this. Does it take? It still takes money to move them, but uh, they don't have upkeep, which is real nice. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to assassinate the regent. So I'll use regency to guarantee that we find an assassin. Assassination attempt. Okay, it's a little bit. It's a sixty percent chance of success. I'm I'm okay with that. Assassination attempt succeeded. All right. So she's gone now, so that is good. Succeeded. Ugh, they retreated more units into my territory. I really need to shore up my defenses down there. Oh! <laughs> well, you know, my, my skeletons are good, but uh, I kind of doubt they're that good. But I, I, I'm going to run it just to see how it goes. I mean, they can't possibly win against... Oh, you know, actually, they'll just outright lose because they're outnumbered. But um, it's still funny. Oh, unless they can't because they're undead. Yeah, they ignore fallback and rout. Interesting. Okay, well, they get... Nope, never mind. Turns out that's not the case at all. It's your turn. Okay, so... Damn it, I think that we have another bugged situation there with those pikemen. It's really annoying that that stuff happens, but in the end, what can you do? Um, where did I summon those three skeletons in? They're up here. I'll use these guys to shore up our defenses down south, I suppose. Let's just go ahead and send two of them to here. From there, I'll send one in to butcher those guys. I'll send the cavalry to there. And I'll send the last one to reinforce my regent. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yep, yeah, from here on out, it's just more investiture. So I'll take Romy in next. No, Hedel is better. I'll get that next. Succeeded. Looks like they're out of regency with which to... Contest me. Oh. Turns out that wasn't bugged at all, so never mind. Oh! Oh, crap. I... I'm not about to retreat, but this is bad. If I take any... Like, if I take a hit, I think that I'll lose, but... 
I'm still going to do it. I'm just going to make sure that I'm fighting things that uh, don't have a ranged attack first. Your orders? Consider it done. Your command? Consider it done. Wizard ready, your, your order. Wizard ready, your Okay, that takes care of the immediate danger. Okay. That could have been bad, but uh, in the end, nothing we couldn't handle. I say before the fight's actually over. Okay, there we go. Resort is demanding that we pay them. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say to go away. Your turn. Okay. Your Highness, Let's see. Not your troops. Not your troops. And didn't I have a skeleton here? I could have sworn that I sent a skeleton in to reinforce there. Your bidding. Oh man. Okay. Well, Bindraith is no longer important tactically, so I will send it. Skeleton to reinforce. And cavalry. I don't like having my regent alone and unprotected. Even if he is a rather powerful unit. Okay. Anything else to do? I don't think so. So we're going to go ahead and do investiture on Gadale now. It's going to take us an extra couple of turns to claim all these territories, but uh, the increased taxes will be Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, so they assassinated one of my units. Ah, oh, that bugs me. So I can no longer claim this territory without going to war with them again. So that's going to cost me an action in the long run. So that's annoying, but oh well. Um, on the bright side, though, we now have access to Riverford, which is a very good situation to be in. Uh, let's see. Those look good. Hideo. What is Hideo? Oh, Hideo is that one. That's in Rebellion, but I don't care about that. Okay, so I'll collect my taxes again. Things are better than expected, so that's fine. What? What? Well, I'm not sure what happened, but it looks like Ariel gave their territory to Thurizor somehow. That's a sneaky little flip the board move. Okay, well, I think we can still claim it. Yeah, we can, so well, we're going to. I mean, it's a level 5 territory. I'm not going to let that one just go to waste. Uh, let's see. Up here, we, we're still sieging the last castle that they have. Everything else we should be able to grab, basically at will, I think. Now that Nolian's castle's gone, next turn we'll be able to get that. Uh, yeah, so I mean, first I'm going to just check to make sure that my armies are well situated. Eh, didn't think so, but it was worth checking. Um... Yeah, okay, so, yeah, I'm, hmm. Your Highness, I feel like as soon as I do this, Highness. they're going to go to war with me. So before I do that, I am going to use my lieutenant action. And we're going to summon more skeletons. And use those to reinforce the regent. That that makes me feel a little bit 
better. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and claim Riverburn. We have 183 Regency, so I'm not concerned about winning these rolls. Gained another level, this time I think as a fighter. Yep. Okay, not concerned about that fight. Most of these sources that are being contested and destroyed, I got from uh, my alliances with the three NPCs that I brought in, so I, I don't really, really care about losing them. Oh, they put up a freaking castle of Daryway. That's, that's annoying. They're going to make this difficult, aren't they? Whatever. Um, okay, so let's see. What else can I claim now? Giant's Fastness, let's just go ahead and do that one. No, I shouldn't do that. I should do them in the order of strength. So I'll go ahead and take Sid Rear. Succeeded. And then I'll take Ruin Wash next. Okay, we're well on our way to dismantling Dozo. We've already taken six of their territories, I believe. A new adventure is in play now. Let's see. Looks like it's a scrying crystal, I think. Yep, crystal of scrying. I, I don't actually remember what that does, but it's a treasure, so I want it. <laughs> Tarbiel has uh, plus five investitures, so that's quite nice. Okay, let's see here. Nolian is now in play, so that's going to be our priority, I think, since it's a level three. Go ahead and collect our taxes. Okay, they assassinated our skeleton in Trotabai, so I take it back. I think I'm going to claim that one first. Well, let me just check for combat, though. Nothing. Nothing that we can't handle. But, with Trotavine being empty, they would be able to retreat units into it. So I'm just going to cover our bases there. Okay, now it looks like our front line has moved up. So these units in the back here really aren't serving a purpose. So I'm going to... Move that cavalry into the main stack there. I'll move this archer down there to guard our borders. And this cavalry, I'll move up to join with our priest. This one will stay there. Mm. Actually, I do need a unit in there to block, don't I? Eh, what are the odds they retreated our own territory? Okay, first thing, let me go ahead and use my lieutenant action to go on an adventure. I'll send all four of them. The only things I really care about here are... Let's see. Trucing. And locate object. Got plenty of fireballs and plenty of cold. Cold in case we get into any fights. Okay, that should be plenty. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Let's go ahead and cast Locate Object, and we'll also cast Truce. And now, <coughs> we'll go ahead and teleport directly to it. Yoink! <coughs> Excuse me. 
hidden armies are revealed. I I don't know how helpful that is, but you know, we'll take it. Okay, now with our actual action, let's go ahead and invest in Nolian. Succeeded. Your turn. Well, we might as well close the loop here with Trotabine, I think. Succeeded. Mm, three units. I'll go ahead and control this one myself, just so that I don't accidentally lose a unit. It takes guts to charge the high mage ALEs. What can I say? It's your turn. Oh, they, they built a road. That's going to save them. Okay, um, for our last action, you know, I wonder if I can actually negotiate with them to just give me this one. Let me try it. Doza. Nope, they won't even receive my ambassadors. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, let's see, so what are our options here? Um, we don't need this unit anymore. <sighs> now, I can't go to war since it's action three, so we are restricted to just investing in... Uh, let's go ahead and do it in... Giant's Fastness. We'll just cut them off. Okay, my happiness is recovering in those territories. That's good. Let's see, in these ones down here, we have a claim on two territories this turn, so that's acceptable. Go ahead and collect our taxes. Yep, skeletons have no upkeep. That's outstanding. Chaos moved troops into Windrath. Where is that? Skeletons. I'll send my own skeletons to deal with them, I guess. Uh, and I'll be the cavalry, just in case. Okay, so two of our actions this round are going to be claiming Sunland and Sonil, of course. But we also need to declare war on them so that we can take back Darlane. So let's start off with the declaration of war. Okay, so hmm. they've moved units in there. Um, I'm not overly concerned by this, uh, so I'll just go ahead and move them in also. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use a lieutenant action here to get us more skeletons. I'm curious if at a certain point this is going to cause our regent's alignment to change. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, now, why don't I go ahead and just send in the priest and a couple cavalry and those skeletons and wipe them out. Now, 
I suppose all I really need to do is two investitures. So I'll start with Silkwind. Succeeded. Hmm. Yeah, investitures seem to be adding quite a bit of experience. Well, that's uh, that's not a f that no. I we lost a unit, but that's that's fine, I guess. And last, let's just go ahead and uh, claim that last territory. Succeeded. Oh, there. Seems that they're moving some troops in to attack. I mean, we're gonna win this regardless, so. I'll let the computer control it. Okay. A cutscene. Greetings, Dark Lord. Your troops await the command that will plunge and we're into war. <clears throat> All right, so looks like the Gorgon's gonna start coming for people, so. Good thing we now have uh, doubled the size of our empire. Um, I am going to call this one here, and I'll make sure that I don't lose a turn this time. Um, and yeah, I will pick up next time. Thanks for watching.